for your team and, and confidence level. No question. In the Big Ten, if you can't run the football, you're in trouble. Mm -hmm. And so it was good to see us get out there with a good one-two punch with Jonathan Wells and Lydell Ross. The offensive line was solid. Steve made good decisions on what runs to get us into. Mm -hmm. So it felt good to put those long running drives together. Long drives uh, gain confidence. When you're physically moving people on the line of scrimmage, it does a world of good for the confidence right from up front, and it permeates the whole team. Well, no question. I remember Earl Bruce used to always say, as long as we can get our tailback's feet to the line of scrimmage, and, and the feet we're getting to the line of scrimmage, then you leave the rest up to those talented guys with the ball. Away they go, and away we go with the highlights from Memorial Stadium. A uh, great crowd making the trip over from Columbus. 50,000 strong in Memorial Stadium for the Big Ten opener for Ohio State and Indiana. A lot of them wearing scarlet and gray. No question about it. And here Jonathan uh, starts us off on that long drive. And whenever you can have a long drive to start the game when you're away from home, I really think that, that closes that uh, advantage that they have. Quiets the crowd quickly. Third and three, Steve Belisari making something out of thin air. Well, no question. Got six yards here. and You know Steve's a competitor, and there was nothing open, and he stepped up and, and did what we needed to do. He moved the chains. Lydell Ross, that one-two punch, part of that. Here he is up the middle. Well, Lydell does a good job of following his blockers. He has a good forward body lean. He's going to be a good football player. He's going to get yards when you're headed that way. Third down and 14. A lot better on third down conversions this week. Though. This was a big catch. 19 yarder on third and 14. That's a huge play when you're away from home. Big time play there in 19, as you mentioned. Set up second and goal this time to tight end Darnell Sanders. Good throw by Steve. Got us down to just inside the three-yard line. Unfortunately, we had to settle for the field goal. But again, getting on the board when you're away from home, it was good to see Josh put this one through. 20 yards out and an early 3 to nothing lead for the Buckeyes. A 17-play drive, Coach. That's a sustained amount of time and, and well over nine minutes for that drive. Right, and that's good to keep that number 11 you see right there off the field. Yep. And here he is, Antoine Randall L. The pitch to Levron Williams. They execute that option game really well. They stretch you out. They slow you down a little bit with all their various options. And I thought Antoine did a good job sitting in and finding receivers underneath. And, and uh, their big fullback broke the tackle there. And, and uh, they're moving the football down themselves. An exciting player to watch, but a good one to have behind you as well on the schedule. Randall L. running that speed option again this time. The keep or so. <laughs> Great acceleration, and then all of a sudden at the last minute pitches it. That is tough on a defense, but our guys kept storming. I thought as the game went on, our defense kept playing better and better. L this time through the air, finds his receiver open over the middle. Just a little zone route there, and, and again, they're executing. They're a well-schooled football team, and, and uh, they're moving the ball down the field. Second and nine set up. This is a three-yard completion right here in Derek Ross and Mike Dawson on the play. Well, unfortunately, we had a little penalty after that one, and Moved them too close for comfort, and they went in, and, and uh, all of a sudden it's a 7-3 to three ball game, and they're at home, and they're steamed up, and we need to answer. That they do. Belisari up top for the Bucks finds Jonathan Wells in the flat. I'll tell you, Jonathan's a dangerous receiver. When you get the ball out in the flats to Jonathan and Jamar Martin, uh, they can put a licking on those defensive backs. That was good to see. Lydell Ross, a 26-yard run here. A little coming out party for Ross this week. Well, Lydell has a, a good instincts and so forth, and, and he appreciates those guys up front. And uh, he's going to be a darn good one. Be a fan favorite soon enough. As we move to the second quarter of action, Bucks trailing 7-3, to three, but on the move once again. Belisari to pass. See, good pr pass protection there, good decision. Nice job by freshman Chris Gamble there. Turns a little 8-yard hook into a 17-yard play, and that's the kind of things we need, big playmakers. Another first down and 10 situation and another 17 yards. Here uh, was a little bit of a controversial call there. The officials uh, said the ball was down, and that was a good fortune for us there. And that set us up in good field position, and Lydell takes it up in front of that big offensive line once again. Picking and choosing for four yards there. It's Ross once again this time, and Ross, first touchdown as a Buckeye. I'll tell you what, that was a heck of a run there, and those guys really opened that thing up, and uh, that was good to see us get in the end zone and get it back out ahead and answer that touchdown drive they had. Never trail again after that 10-7. The count at this point, second down and two, and the defense steps up. There we go. Just They're running power football at us, and that's our forte is stopping power football. And, and great job there. Matt Wilhelm stepped up and made the hit. Gave us good field position back, and here you see Steve going up top, and he heck of a catch there by Michael Jenkins. And Michael is a, is a young guy, just a true sophomore, and he's going to be a good receiver at Ohio State. Sets up Belisari again. Back to pass and Jamar Martin in the flat. Tell you what, again, good choice. The, the, it wasn't open downfield, and he dumped it off, and, and that is so crucial. And again, Jamar is tough to tackle in those flats. You don't want to be facing him. And it's Ross again. Good second effort. 
darn good job pounding in there. And you see uh, that was Ben Hartsock and Darnell Sanders, uh, Shane Olivier. I think it was Alex Stepanovich pulling around in front. Uh, just people getting into the end zone. 17 to 7 the count at that point uh, when we go to halftime a, a decent lead and as you go into the locker room uh, fans and you saw your team into the hurry up offense situation and come up with points on the board that's something nice to see that you haven't seen yet this year it really is especially when you're away from home mm -hmm. to get that touchdown on the board and extend your lead out a little bit uh, th that's a big thing and I think it gives you a confidence level and and especially with an offense that had struggled the week before uh, that was great to see uh, you talk about opportunistic offense being one of the keys to winning, uh, especially on the road, and also relentless defense. The other one is special teams play, and that's on its way. It starts up here in the third quarter. Help is on its way as we go back to Memorial Stadium. Buckeyes leading 17-7 to as we start the second half of play, and it starts first and 10 with the man, Antoine Randall L., with the ball. He is awfully quick there and then gets the ball pitched back, but we're swarming in there. Joe Cooper on the hit. Uh, I think Will Smith is close by, and then here we come after the punt. Michael Doss, again, I think, uh, getting in there. Dave Andrews was putting pressure on as well. Great effort by Ricky Bryant. Will Allen picks it up. I think it was Angelo Chatham's trying to push him forward a little bit, and, and uh, what great field position for us. Awesome. Mike Doss for the second week in a row, getting a blocked punt there. Leads to good things for the Buckeyes as Steve Belisari takes over. Well, here you see Jonathan Wells heading north and south, splitting defenders there, and well, there we are, first and goal on the one, but uh, one of the few unfortunate things that happened uh, this weekend we had to settle for a field goal after being on the one and that just that has got to change and and uh, we got the three though the good news is we banged the three through and got a little bit more lead and confidence for Josh Houston quite possibly also no as question. Antoine Randall takes over again he's just a playmaker but Donnie Nicky Donnie in the right Nicky, place. I tell you what that was a good play he smacked that ball away and there was good pressure on uh, Randall L and that was good to see here comes the option again this guy can run it. His acceleration is uh, is something. See Grant on the hit there, and and uh, they had a little bit of a holding call. Thank goodness on yep. that play, and, and helped us out a bit. 23 yards. Here was the big play, a counter boot action, and they went over top to number five there, and, and hit the big one, and uh, well designed yeah. play. And uh, as I mentioned, there were a couple of things this weekend that weren't what we needed. One was that play. The other was not getting in on the first drive, and then the third, of course, not getting in the first drive of the second half. Good game planning and a good matchup on their end, and they ended up taking a 44-yard touchdown. But here we go with another defensive effort and the offense getting going. Third down conversion, Belisari to Michael Jenkins. Good pass protection. Ended up having to punt it. Here's the defense again. Joe Cooper in there hitting on him. Cortland Bullard, Donnie Nicky. Timmy Anderson swarming all over the football field. The second half, I really thought we got the handle on them pretty well with our defense. Defense certainly came out like gangbusters there. Derek Ross on the hit. Again, Tim Cheatwood involved and, and uh, good looking defensive play. Uh, you band not a whole bunch to cheer about, but uh, the Bucks take back over. This is a close game here, 20 to 14, no breathing room. Well, no, there sure wasn't after that big hit. And then I tell you what, we came back and, and you see a nice little counter play that uh, thought the offense had good poise and handled the situation and methodically kept the ball and moved it down the field. And, and this, was, this was good to see with Steve. Here he was uh, looking down the field, had to end up dumping it off, a, a conversion there to Ricky Bryant. And as you mentioned, the, the confidence gets rolling and guys making plays uh, further along in that game and the offense just keeps it going at a time when the defense stood up to the test, now the offense job to punch it in. And no doubt about it. You see Lydell Ross doing some fancy footwork there. Jamar Martin and uh, Darnell Sanders were leading the way there with uh, Tyson Walter and Adrian Clark. Here we, again, good pass protection. Dumps it off. Nice looking play. Boy, great job by Jonathan Wells splitting defenders. You know, that, that's a huge uh, conversion for us and, and moving the ball down inside the 10-yard line. Here you see Steve down in there handing it off. And you see Jonathan Wells, good looking football play. Stretched him out. We've been pounding it inside. Then we stretched it out that last series hitting uh, the outside zone and and that was good to see Jonathan get in the end zone. 28, not to be left out in the scoring category, seven yards away and in for the touchdown. Everybody happy there. 27 to 14 at that point in the ballgame. And that is.